How do you remember the falling? A 9-11 balloon release is here for you to see. Low enrollment. What will happen if it keeps dropping? Ready for jail practice. I wonder if security is too. From Tougaloo College, this is Channel 19, the you at me. Good day, I am DeMarcus Burrell and welcome to my first edition of Tougaloo Eagle Eye News. Tougaloo SGA is hosting a 9-11 balloon release for all of the fallen. Kiara Bronson is here to inform you. Tougaloo students gathered at Warren Hall to remember those who lost their lives during 9-11. Students showed their support for this tragic event by releasing balloons into the air. So I just want to remember that day and just remind the students that their lives are important and they shouldn't take their lives. For the freshman class president is happy that Tougaloo is recognizing 9-11. It's a part of the prestige that we have at Tougaloo. It means that we not only care about the community that is on campus, but the community that's across the nation. Earl Sanders, the coordinator for student activities, says this is a moment that we should not forget. Working with the student leaders, you know, I felt like it was something that we should definitely not forget. Uh, something we can reflect on. Some people remember where they were on this day. I was in kindergarten in Mr. Sally's class in Bluxy, Mississippi at Jeff Davis Elementary School. Actually, I was here. Mm -hmm. I was here um, on my way to work that morning. Uh, probably by the time I got here, uh, you could hear it on the radio. Kiev Bronson reporting for Tougaloo Eagle Eye News. School enrollment is getting lower each year. Is there a solution? Greetings. Reporter Justin Polk on the historic Tougaloo College campus, observing the traditional love and excitement of being an eaglet. But will there be another generation that can enjoy and learn from the historic value of this HBCU? My journey takes me to Blackman Building, where I meet with Dr. Juno Jacobs, the Director of Enrollment Services. This year we are closed out with 254 new students. We are lower than uh, is expected for this year and for last year. I asked Dr. Jacobs what the cause of this was and she had this to say. Well, we've had um, a change in personnel over the last two years and we've noticed that our uh, numbers have declined. Uh, we still need scholarship dollars but change in personnel probably has contributed to some of that. With that being said, Dr. Jacobs still has faith. She had this to say that she does believe. I believe if we um, receive the funds that we need to um, have the documents that we need as far as the brochures, uh, if we have the appropriate signage uh, and use a great marketing strategy along with have marketing you know, all through the state of Mississippi and in Jackson, that would increase. Marketing is a big uh, issue. This has been Justin Polk. Reporter for the Eagle Eye News. Tougaloo College has their annual safety drill coming up. It's October and no drills have been raining concerned of keeping campus security up and notified. As many school shootings have happened, when will Tougaloo brief us on how this is supposed to happen? What's first up for campus training? Is it disaster or active shooter? Day has finally arrived to Blue College's annual high school day, where Kiara Bronson comes to tell you all about it. High schools from across Mississippi came to Tougaloo College for high school day. This is where we invite 12th graders to the campus for them to find out about our academic programs and student life. The students had a chance to listen to many faculty members in different areas of the campus. We you know a teacher is very important because of the school teaching that you can change a child's life. Schools then had a chance to view the campus. We're going to show them Pope, we're going to show them Kinchla, we're going to show them as much as we can to get them to see how much of a wonderful school to Louis. Different booths were set up so students could get more information on student life and academic departments. I'm participating in high school day here at Tougaloo College with the political science department. Um, we will have a chance to talk with the students about internships and summer research programs that they may be interested in. High school day ended with the performance from the Greek life. Victoria still encourages other high school students to come to Tougaloo College even though it's not bigger than other colleges. Our statistics are great, our numbers are through the roof. We are a great school. We just want them to see that just give us a chance. Kier Bronson reporting for Tougaloo Eagle Eye News. Treehouse sales are happening all in Mendenhall. My son said last night, he said, Mom, 
That's Johnny's house. That belongs to us. What belongs to Gloria Lucas and her family is this 1,200 square foot tree house. It belonged to my Uncle Johnny Knight. He was a very creative person and uh, we're just real excited to get it. Lucas says she found out the tree house was being put up for sale on accident just a few days ago. And I called Gail and then I called Miss and at 10 o'clock last night, we signed a contract. When the tree house was back on the market, it drew bids from places all over the country. The farthest bid was from Arizona. I have done this for many years, over 40 years, and I have never had a property with this kind of uh, attraction. I feel like it was a, a God thing mm -hmm. that we were able to get it. Even though Lucas is not staying in the one bedroom and bathroom studio tree house, she says her family will still come and enjoy it. We just can't wait for these children to be running through the woods and on the tree house and, mm -hmm. and just having a good time. Kier Brasser reporting for Tougaloo Eagle Eye News. An off day for Pope students is set mostly for cleaning. Students help Professor Sanders clean up Pope since upkeeping has become a low priority. To bid on the Tugaloo Man will come out to the bachelor auction on October 29th in Warren Hall. CP holds a purse of many more to come. Ladies are welcome to come and bid on a gentleman that's included in this roster for a date paid by the organization. Only ladies are allowed to bid and on only one male. The ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated would love for you to park your car somewhere and walk to class in support of getting healthy. As October continues on and the many walks for breast cancer progress, the ladies of Pink and Green would love for you to walk to class today. Many of the known and influential have graduated from This year is the mm -hmm. first uh, annual Sports Hall of Fame mm -hmm. uh, that the Department of Athletics is planning. Tougaloo College is seeking applicants for its first Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony. We are seeking to honor those student athletes who have paved the way and currently within the last five years are seeking student athletes to contribute to the Department of Athletics. Also using um, civic engagement, uh, making contribution to the community and to the college mm -hmm. is part of it the requirements of being inducted. Anyone can nominate someone who they believe is deserving of being inducted. Uh, we are encouraging anyone that, uh, former athletes that have played in the area of uh, any sports, to feel free to go online, uh, to fill out an application, come to the office and nominate someone. These two spearheading the project, this would surely be an extravagant event. Dr. James Coleman has been a very uh, instrumental act, um, instrumental part of the program. With the two of us combining, putting our heads together and the information we have about uh, developing the Tugaloo and Argo uh, Sports Hall of Fame has been a very tedious job. This event will take place on April 16, 2016 in the Kroger Gymnasium. We have such a long wrist history in athletics here at Tugaloo. This is Darren Yakes reporting for Eagle Eye News. From Tugaloo College, this is Channel 19, Eagle Eye News.